got five sets of tactiles, all in an iggledy piggledy row. So if I turn right, will that bring me onto the zebra or onto... What it'll do, take you to another set of tactiles. And then behind that's another set of tactiles. Then behind that's another set of tactiles. And then behind that's another set of tactiles. It's like what, Kevin? Spaghetti Flaming Junction. I cross over this tactile. There's a zebra here, but then to your right, there's another zebra cross. There's another tactile to another zebra crossing. You've got one, two, three sets of tactile, all leading to different parts of the street. How would I know which one I'm supposed to be on? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of tactile. If I come off the first tactile, am I actually in a cycle lane? Yeah. And there's a little zebra crossing there as well. Yeah. Tactile cycle lane, tactile on a corner island. And then you've got to go left or right to find the other tactile before you get to the Green Man crossing. Uh, I couldn't be handling that. When I use tactile, that indicates to me that there's a crossing. So I'm expecting to come onto the tactile, find the pole and, and cross straight over. The fact that there are so many sets of tactile paving I would find those very disorientating. This is what's known as a Cyclops Junction. What do you think of it? Well, I don't like it uh, at all. I think it's totally illogical. I would certainly not want to use it um, because it, it's just totally confusing. We have to understand that there are times when, you know, we have to know our limitations. But if they put crossings like this, not only do we have to know our limitations, but they're taking our independence from us. And that's something a lot of these ridiculous councils and design people are doing. They're taking people's independence away and it is not right. 